In Excel, date and time are often stored in the same cell, but sometimes it's nice to split those into two separate cells. In this video, I'll show you how you can do that using the round down formula. I'm John, you're watching Up For Excel. Imagine that you've got all this data here, which is just random stuff, basically car make and model and the date and time at which it was sold. But you're just not interested in the time at all and you want to want to get rid of the rid of the time. So you could just format it without the time. So change the, the format of that column. But what that's not going to do is it's not actually going to store that as just a date. And if you try to categorize those dates in any way, shape or form via any kind of lookup, you're going to come unstuck and you're going to come into problems. So really what we'd like to do here and what I'm going to show you how to do is to take that date and time, combine date and time and turn it into two separate columns, one with the date, one with the time. And the way we're going to do that actually is we're going to be able to use the round formula. Now the reason that we're going to be able to use the round formula is because of the way Excel actually stores a date. Now what we've got to be careful of is we need to always be rounding down because the day is just the number without any decimal places on the end. Decimal places represent the time if you like. So just because something happens to be, if I just make that equal to this here, when we sold the Dodge Ram 3500, which was at 25 minutes to midnight apparently. So if I change that to a number, you can see it's actually got a 0.98 at the end. Now if we were to just use some kind of standard rounding, that would round that up. And what we would get effectively is it rounding to the next day. So if I show you, if we just round this figure, so sorry, this date, using a normal round formula, you can see we now are on the 8th of December rather than the 7th, which is no good. We didn't sell it on the 8th, we sold it on the 7th. So what we need to do is we need a formula called the round down. Pretty straightforward if you know the round formula, but assuming that you don't, the way in which you use it is you type in equals round down. It asks you for the number you want to round down. So in this case, we click directly on the date. Uh, give a comma. It asks you for the number of digits. Now that is the number of digits after the decimal place. So effectively the number of decimal places, if you like. We don't want any. So we're going to say zero. We don't want any time on there at all. There we go. We now have the 7th of the 12th with no hours and minutes on the end. Of course, we would then reformat that. And there you go, 7th of December. So this will now be our date column. Okay. The remainder, in other words, the bit that we've knocked off of that, is now our time. So quite simply, our time is the original date minus our new date. Now that is shown as, as a number, but if I format that as a time, and you can see there we now have the date and the time. So I'll put that up there. We will copy those formulas across that whole of that. And to make things nice, I'm actually just going to do this and then reapply these formats. There we go. So that's how you use the round down formula to separate date and time in Excel. Make sure you subscribe for more tips and tricks on Excel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next video coming out. See you soon.